Hello everyone, we will continue the topic best performance practices or guidelines and in the previous video we did the full understanding of parallel cursor. Now we will discuss few more best performance guidelines. Our next best practice is never write the queries inside the loop. It is highly highly prohibited that we should never write the queries inside the loop. Suppose I will go for simple understanding. I have a loop. I have a loop on this internal table and I am writing a query, select query inside this loop. Now what is happening? Suppose this internal table has 100 records. It means whatever the query you are writing it will also execute how many times? 100 times. 100 times it will fetch data from database table. 100 times it will bring data onto which particular layer? Application layer. Highly, highly avoidable. We should never write the query inside the loop. You should always fetch that data one time. Then after that, you need to apply loop or read table to get the output. Never write the queries inside the loop. Just think about a real project scenario in which we have suppose 50,000 1 lakh records are coming into internal table and we have written a query inside the loop. It means 50,000 time we gave the load to the database and that is possible by one time itself. But we gave the load 50,000 and because of that system went into a runtime error itself. Sometimes we will not even get the output if we have written a query inside a loop. And simple understanding, loop will continue for the number of records of the internal table. If internal table has one lakh record, it means select query is executing how many times? One lakh time it is executing. So highly, highly avoidable. Never write the queries inside the loop. Now I will go for next particular best performance practice. Our next performance practice is for multiple conditions, use case rather than if conditional statement. As a part of conditional statement, we discuss two conditional statement. One is case and another is if. And at that time, I told you case has always, always high performance as compared to if. Whenever you have multiple conditions, suppose you have 15 conditions, 20 condition, 25 condition, Never, never go for if, always prefer case. Now we will understand again why, why we are saying case is preferable. So suppose I will go for an example and we will understand why case is more preferable. Suppose this is the program. In this program, I have case also. In this program, I have if also. Suppose Firstly, I am commenting case. I'll show you how if will work first. Suppose I am putting a breakpoint and suppose I am giving the input. And if input is 1, this is the result. If input is 2, this is the result. If input is 3, this is the result. And if input is not 1, 2, 3, this is the result. Suppose I am running the program. I am giving the input, suppose I am saying two suppose. Now, how if will work? I'll go to desktop three. Firstly, it will check the first condition. Is two is equal to one? No, two is not equal to one. So it will check for second condition. Now we are going for second condition. It is checking, is two is equal to two? Yes, two is equal to two. So we found a true condition. So now it is printing the result is 2. Suppose I am going for 3. I am going for 3. And as of now we are covering if. 
I'll go to desktop three. Now, firstly, control will come to first if condition. Is three is equal to one? No. System will go to next if condition. Is three is equal to two? No. Now, system will go to next if condition. Is three is equal to three? Yes, three is equal to three. Now we are getting the output. Now I am putting four. I will execute. System will check. Is four is equal to one? No, four is not equal to one. System is going for next if condition. Is four is equal to two? No. Now system is going for next if condition. Is four is equal to three? No. Now system is going to else part. And have you seen it is it what is happening in case of if condition? It is checking all the conditions one by one. till it gets a true condition the simple example suppose i have 20 if condition and my true condition is on 20th number but system is not going to 20th condition system is going for first second third fourth it will go up to 19th it will go up to 20th after that then it will display the result it is very time consuming process because system is checking all the if conditions one by one till it get a true condition so this is the main main point in case of if whenever you have multiple conditions system will check all the condition then it will come on to the true condition but in case of case this is not the scenario suppose if i will uncomment case now case will not check for all the conditions one by one it will directly jump on to the true condition suppose i will put a break point i will run suppose i am giving input suppose 2 now currently i am on fifth number line now system will not check the first condition system will directly jump on to the next condition whenever there is a true condition system will directly jump on to the true condition it will not come to when 1 it will directly jump on to when 2 if i will do f6 have you seen system directly when jump on to when 2 now suppose if i will go for 3 suppose i am giving the input 3 and i am executing now whenever i will go for 3 system will not check this condition system will not check this condition system will directly jump on to which condition true condition if i will go for f6 have you seen directly system jump on to the true condition now if i will give 4 so system will not check all the three conditions one by one it will directly jump on to the true condition it is directly jumping on to the other part that's why case is always preferable in terms of performance because if we have 15 20 50 condition system should directly jump on to the true condition so always prefer case whenever you have multiple condition if you have one or two conditions no problem at that time performance will not matter if n case both will give the same performance but if you have so many conditions always prefer case as compared to if so what is the summary of the video in this video we studied two more best performance practices one is never write the queries inside the loop because whenever you are writing the query inside the loop it means your query is executing based upon the number of records of the internal table and it is it will highly highly impact the performance and second best practice we discussed that always always prefer case as compared to if in case of multiple conditions because case will directly jump on to the true condition and it is performance effective in the next video we will cover few more best performance practices that's it in this video thank you